Some market watchers say homeowners in Singapore will have to pay elevated mortgage rates for a little longer. An expected percentage point dip in interest rates is now likely to only take place at the end of next year instead of this year. And that says the U.S. Federal Reserve is cutting interest rates more slowly than expected as inflation remains high. Rebecca Mateo has more. This one-bedroom unit near the city centre is up for rent at about $4,000 per month. That's about $500 less than what the owner was hoping for. The real estate agent says it's become much harder to find a tenant now that there are more apartments available. We go extra miles right now, provide more services, like, you know, uh, tenants who want to have to have less hassle, we provide Wi-Fi services, can, we can also include utilities, uh, so this is what we open up. Uh, so we have a wider range of tenant uh, pool. Some real estate agents tell me that last year they could close a deal with just one viewing, but this year they'll have to put up the unit for about a month and it takes an average of 10 viewings before they can secure a tenant. They also say that landlords may have to lower their asking rent just to find a tenant. Earning less from rent means Mr Ng's client is being pinched from both ends. She needs the extra income to help pay off the mortgage on her new flat. At least one analyst says homeowners like her will have to bite the bullet for longer, with mortgage rates taking longer than expected to come down. Interest rates could fall half a percentage point by the end of this year, instead of a full percentage point. In Singapore, um, our government and our monetary policy also has many factors in play. Interest rates cannot stay high if the Singapore dollar is going to continue to, to strengthen and strengthen with the high interest rates. At the same time, property uh, market is also tapering off. So in all contexts, actually interest rates should start dropping. But the biggest factor is US Fed rates. And if US Fed rates don't drop, it then makes everything drop slower. Property observers say the silver lining is that interest rates appear to have peaked. Buyers are also more mentally prepared to service their loans at a higher rate. The buying volume is quite likely to actually stay at the current level. The uh, decision point for a lot of buyers right now is that whether they feel confident enough to enter the market because they have to be assured that uh, their jobs is secure. Uh, the company is doing well. Observers are also seeing more homeowners switch to a fixed mortgage rate in a high interest rate environment.